All right, hello everyone. This is Edgar checking in again. This is Dulce Rios. Rio. This is my coworker, and we have just finished a session. So uh, I'm going to let Dulce talk a little about herself, uh, what she has felt and believes in so far, and we'll take it from there. So thank you for being my volunteer okay, today. Hey, you're welcome, Edgar. Uh, so like uh, Edgar said, my name is Dulce, and I work with Edgar. And uh, we did a little cleansing and it felt really, really good. Um, before coming in, uh, today actually was a, a very hectic day for me. Okay. And I was actually pretty sad. Okay. <laughs> but now I feel really, really happy. I feel like, like I don't feel heavy, heaviness. Interesting, um, very nice. Yeah, I felt a lot of energy moving around and it felt really, really good. Yeah, so yeah. very interesting. A um, couple of hours ago when I walked around to go look for you, um, I saw you and I kind of didn't know if you were going to want to participate later mm -hmm. on. I was like, um, I could see that you were going through something and I didn't know if it was going to be the appropriate time or not. Uh -huh. So then um, when you came over, that was kind of my confirmation that yes, yeah, something <laughs> was going to happen okay. because uh, you came in and then you were like ready for it. Yeah. And the energy was different than from before, so I'm really, really glad you did that. Yeah. And like I said, Spirit was very, very glad you did that too. <laughs> I'm glad Spirit was happy. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. then we did the the aura cleansing first with uh, just no hands on, just in the air. What was your experience with that? Did that provide any um, effects on you? Uh, it did. I, I felt a little bit of energy like moving as you were going. Well, my eyes were closed, but I could yeah. feel the energy. Yeah. Kind of going. You, yeah. Could, you could feel it. You could see it and <laughs> yeah. feel it and with your eyes yeah, closed. So, just, yeah. so weird, huh? Yeah. That's how it works. Awesome. And then so then I started aligning your chakras and you were telling me how that made your spine kind of twitch a little? Yeah, I felt like... Uh, it was my spine was aligning it kind of felt like when you see like those pictures of the planets when they're supposed to like align that's yeah. kind of like it felt like very yeah, nice like that. that's kind of how like the vision that you got yeah mm -hmm. very interesting and then we moved on over to your heart and um i spent a little bit on time of that and um i did notice that the charge was a little bit lower than the rest of the body so I'll, I spent more time charging on that, but while I was working on that, what was your experience? Um, I just felt very, it felt really, really heavy. At first? At first, okay. it felt really, really heavy, and then um, it just felt not heavy. <laughs> well, not <Yeah>. heavy. <laughs> it felt not heavy, it felt, I, I feel good, I feel good. Okay, so then while we were working on your heart, um we had a connection to your belief system as in your your angels and your ancestors what was um your experience after saying those words was it um did you feel something in particular or did you just i just felt like re release a lot of release a lot of release Very like nice. Release. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to release. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. And so, um, yeah, and then uh, we finished complete around the body, connected your head, mm -hmm. your hands. <laughs> Tell them about what happened with your arm. Oh, with my arm, my, uh, my right arm, there was a lot of energy there. Even before Edgar told me that he felt something in my arm, I was already feeling it, but I didn't want to talk. But as I was thinking it, he said it, and it was a lot of like. Actually, I can still kind of feel it right now. Is it, like yeah. a lot of like energy, like right concentrated on on my arm, my my right arm. I don't know why specifically this arm and not as much the left arm, but <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a but, beginning. Yeah. Um. So I was going up, and I started connecting uh, the rest of the nodal points, and by the time I reached her right hand, it was hot. It was hot and it wasn't coming from me. And I asked her, do you feel that? And she's like, yeah. And that's when I told her, that's all you. <laughs> that is not me at all. So we got some sort of activation going on. Yeah. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see how that's going to turn out for you because something changed. Something changed inside I you. Know. So Maybe cool. Maybe grow into a little flower, I don't know. <laughs> a little flower, a little thumbelina. Little thumbelina. Awesome. Well, anyway, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. Um, really, really good. 
Awesome, amazing. Thank yeah. you for letting me work on you. Oh. And uh, maybe we can do it in the future. Yes. All right, cool. All right. And one last thing. Okay. Would you say this experience is uh, an experience that you would consider normal or something you encounter every day? Or would you say there's a mystical nature to it? I think it's a mystical nature to it. Definitely a mystical. You could kind of have to be open-minded about it and just go with the flow. No okay. pun intended. Get energy flow. Get it. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you just have to let yourself go. Awesome. Open your mind. And if somebody that's never experienced it before asks you what it feels like, what would you say in a couple of words? Um, I would say relaxing. <laughs> it was very, very relaxing. Um, oh God, a couple of words. Just that's relax. Fine. Just, that's just, good. just relaxing. I mean, kind of uh, unplugging yourself. Uh, that's another word. Cool. Uh, yeah. Just unplugging right. yourself from yourself. To go back to yourself. <laughs> I'll play yourself from yourself to go back, back to, to yourself. yourself. I love it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, All everyone. Right. This Bye. is Edgar signing off, bringing your mystical experience to the everyday life.